Hello, this is Angela Tukum, one of the community pollies over at the Lily Pad, and welcome to another Watch Me Scrap with Affinity Software. I'm planning to play today with some products from the Build Your Own Collab BYOC that we have at the Lily Pad the first Friday of every month, where all the designers all use the same colours and you can mix and match their kits and products together. This set of ribbons by Gina Miller called Agnes Ribbons really caught my eye. I think they're really pretty and I want to play with them. And I like to play with my ribbons from my ribbon box with my kids doing ribbon weaving. So I thought it'd be fun to weave these ribbons digitally. And so I'm going to use this template that I found in my stash that's designed by Soko. And it's called Strips and Stripes Volume 1. And on this template here, we've got the, rib the paper strips going in the three directions. I'm going to replace the paper strips with ribbons and then weave them together where they intersect. So here's my template and let's go have a look at the ribbons up oh, first. Let's take all these paper strips and group them together. That's control G. I'm not actually going to be cropping paper to those. I'm going to be putting ribbons on top. So I want to be easily able to remove them. So let's look at these wonderful ribbons. And I'm going to start with the ribbons going in this direction here. And so I need fairly long ribbons because these ribbons appear to be different lengths. And we'll start with the yellow one in the yellow spot. That's quite easy. I think that's 45 degrees. Okay, that is about right. And okay, and then after that, let's see. Got this pink stripey one. And where that blue one is, it's something nice and bold. It's green. It's a bit, probably a little bit too short, so let's go for the blue. That's a bit better. Okay. Um, so these three, I'm going to lock them in position because I don't want to make any changes to them. And now I'm going to put the ribbons going in this direction at the top and then at the bottom. And those are the ones I'm going to manipulate for the weaving. Stay down here. Okay, that's quite 45 degrees. Now this is quite a wide ribbon, so I think I'm going to just put two ribbons in that place instead of three. And well, so we got oh, this is a nice pretty pattern one. Or oh, we could go with this one. Yeah, let's have that one. I think I'll put this one here. And This one. Let's make that one slightly smaller so it doesn't dominate so much. Okay, that will do nicely. And then down here, we'll need some. 
the longer ribbons again. Let's see. How about that's a nice pretty pattern. Here, and we'll put that green one where that bright yellow is. And where that lighter one is, we've got this nice patterned pastel ribbon. Okay, let's hide those paper strips. And look at our ribbons. Okay, let's save. Now, I can't, I'm currently using Affinity Publisher. Um, I can't do the technique I want to do in a publisher, but I do have Affinity Photo installed. So let's go to the Affinity Photo persona. Zoom in a bit more. Let's maximize that. And we can see the intersections and all the ribbons. That's good. Right. Now I'm going to take these five ribbons and I'm going to give them mask layers. Just the simple default one will do. And then choose a brush you know, for a basic brush, a fairly large one. And I want to make sure it's black. Let's go back to our layers. Now, starting with the top ribbon here, this yellow one, going to select it with select, selection from layer, produces my marching ants. And now I'm going to go to this ribbon here, select its mask layer, brush tool and paint out that part of the ribbon. Next I'm going to go for this one, its mask layer, okay that's this one, let's brush that one out and then that's that one. Now we'll paint that one out there. So we deselect with Control D. Select that pink ribbon. Oops. What happened there? I'll select that pink ribbon. And going for the floor the flowery ribbon and that's the green one is it yeah the green one but the green one was paint out the green and then paint out that floral ribbon and then we'll go on to the blue ribbon do the same as we did for this yellow one There we go, it's a simple weave. Control D to deselect. And I'm going to take these three ribbons and give them a small drop shadow. Then select all of the ribbons, group them together, Control G. So that if I move them, they all move together and it doesn't undo my weaving. Uh, let's give that a group. Drop 
And return to the Affinity Publisher. And let's go to the photo spots. I've chosen some photos that I want to use um, from my daughter collecting garlic, wild garlic. Um, it grows quite well around the um, river areas where down in the valley and it's a great for the kitchen and very healthy and my kids love to eat it straight from picking so with wild garlic you eat the leaves so this is my oops no that's the garlic flower this is my daughter harvesting the leaves ready to bring home now i want to put this photo in both those photo spots So, so it's her picking garlic there. If I select the photo and duplicate it, we can then put that in the other photo spot so that we've got the garlic leaves coming in here. Now let's decorate. Um, one of the kits I picked up, I thought was quite pretty from the same BYOC collection as those ribbons is Escape, but designed by Soko. I quite like the, the papers she's got in it and some of the weird art. So let's start with background paper. I, I like patterned papers for my backgrounds. I'm going to go for a simple pattern in the background and then a a bolder pattern in this piece of paper here. So let's go to the back layer and have a look at the simple designs. I think I'm going to go for the pink. My daughter is wearing pink. And then for this spot here. I think let's have a look. Yeah, I think that floral will be really nice. So for the photo frames, it tends to be quite traditional to leave them white in digital scrapbooking at the moment, but I don't like them white. I like them coloured. So I quite want I think I want to make them yellow. But that's a bit too a bit too dark. So if I put a white on top of the yellow, uh, reduce the opacity down, I can get something a bit more like what I'm looking for. That will do. So I select both those copy and go here i can put them both in the same spots for the other photos i'm going to put a bit of weird art here where he's got the um, journaling spaces and um, soka does lots of fun weird art so let's see, we've got little moments, ah, sweet summer time. So let's have sweet summer time here and little moments there. No, other way around. Little moments, sweet summer time. Actually, I think I'm going to put them both together. Give them a smooth drop shadow. Let's 
so they must have given the other direction. Okay, and in this template we've got this brush full of um, splatters on it, which doesn't work on a on my patterned background. So I think I'm going to have a look at the elements, see if we've got any scatters. And yes, there's some beads here. So let's pop some beads. Duplicate, put them down here, but I don't really want the pineapple. Oops, that wasn't what I intended on doing. And then Now, where it's got a big title, I want to put a nice, pretty cluster there. And we've got this leafy branch. And let's pop some flowers in. We've got pinkish red flower, we've got some yellow flower, blue. Just a little bit blue. Let me take that down a little more. No, not the blue. Have I got any white ones? Yes, it's a little resin flower. Can get there. And maybe here, but and there's underneath the yellow one. Okay, drop shadows. Duh. Oh, let's have a little look at that word art. We've got hello sunshine, some vibes, welcome, welcome summer. Let's go for welcome summer, the sticker version. And pop that. There we go, that's done. Thank you very much for uh, watching with me. Um, please um, let me know if there's anything in particular you'd like me to show you how to do or any particular style of scrapbooking that you'd like me to you'd like to watch me create. You'll find a link to my gallery in the comments if you want to have a look at what I created and say, oh, I want to see you create something like that. And um, have a great summer. Blessings all. Bye.